You say on page 201, ultimately joy is found not in satisfying your desires, but in changing your desires so you have the best desires. And I thought, well, aren't best desires personal? Isn't that, you know, subjective? So what are the best desires? Yeah. Are we talking about your best desires or the reader's best desires? Yeah, I th we all love a lot of things. I bet we all have pretty similar view of what's a higher desire. So for example, if you lie for money, you've put your love of money above your love of honesty. And we all have an instinct, honesty is a better desire. So raising your desire up to the, the things that really are worth desiring. Yeah. But I make this distinction between happiness and joy. Mm -hmm. And happiness is when you, the, the self expands, you move toward your goals, you achieve a success. And joy is when you transcend the self, where a mother and daughter are just so in love with each other that you can't tell where one ends and one begins. When somebody's out in nature, uh, when somebody's so lost in their work, they've lost, lost all consciousness. And my rule is happiness is great. I'm all for happiness, success, and winning mm -hmm. the Super Bowl. Joy is better. If you aim your life toward joy, you'll, you'll end up in the right spot.